All right, welcome back. Evil Dragon back again. Uh, last time we left off, we went down the elevator, and now we are downstairs. Again, watch out for the trap when you first come down here. There's a little chest hiding, hiding over here. It's just a novice chest. Okay, so we'll open this door. And now we've got a really big area. Opens up for us. And let's see what kind of what kind of shots we can get. We can get a sneak attack there for three times damage. I know there's a couple other Falmer down here. Again, this is a somewhat large area that you can search around in. There's another one down the steps out there. And we'll get him too. Alright, uh, anyway, again, down here, like I said, there's lots of stuff to search around for, look for, you know, do whatever you'd like. Um, just kind of going through this a little quickly just for the purpose of showing you guys how to get through these quests um, and do stuff and get to the very end to receive your achievement. Uh, actually, this one, unlike my other one that I got lots of rants and raves about, uh, why I didn't show the treasure is because it's the point of that video was for the fact to go and try it yourself. Uh, that one I knew if I would have showed you guys the video and went to the end and for the Daedric Artifact one and went to the end and showed you that the treasure really wasn't uh, all that impressive, most of you probably wouldn't have done it. So I gave you all something to do. So uh, anyway, what we're going to do is we're coming up here and... And what you're going to want to do is come over here to this button. I'll take this and we'll hit that button. And that lowers our drawbridge for us. And we can continue on. So, anyway, like I was saying, I didn't show you the treasure before, but this time I will show you all the way to the end so you can get your achievements and get the nice treasure at the end of this one. And this treasure at the end of this one is definitely worth it to actually go for, so. All right, so we'll walk across here. And through the next set of doors. There's a pressure plate here, across the way there is a trap, you don't want to jump on that because those arrows will fire at you, that you can see right up there. And as you come down here, there is another pressure plate, what do we got, spider, get out of here. There's another pressure plate right there. And that one will send those blades down right into your face. So, something again that you really don't want to do. Kill the spear before he even gets anywhere close to me. And we'll keep on running down this way. And another set of doors. Go through these. Okay. You got four buttons here. Uh, forget which one it is. Third button opens up the next set of doors. And we will open the gate into this big room here. 
Okay. Now there are a couple bomber in here. So we'll get rid of them. Wow, dodging all my stuff. Sit down. There's a little potion over there. Ouch. Uh, in this room here, there's a couple chorus in there. Uh, there's a chest, a couple chests. Uh, there's one right there. That you can actually get to from out here uh, but there is also I don't know if you can see a couple on the wall back there as well um, I'm not gonna go in there right now it's not even worth my time when you get to these gears stuff is stuck in the gears so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to pull the stuff out of the gears pull the skull out of that one there's another chest over here Alright, and the last one, you actually have to jump in the water here, go underneath the water here, and get that gear moving, and I believe there's one more, yes, one more down over here, and we'll grab that out. Now we got all the gears going. Why is my bow... My bow is not charged anymore. All right, so I need to just recharge my bow here real quick. Bear with me, folks. All right, I don't have a lot of filled soul gems right now. So I'm just gonna refill it about halfway, okay? So now what we need to do is we need to, now that we've got all the gears unlocked, run up here, we'll activate the button, and again that'll lower the drawbridge, get a nice big old centurion who will come to try to block our way, centurion master. Grand Soul Gem with a Grand Sapphire, some more arrows, the rest of it is pretty much garbage. Another chest right here before the door, Amethyst, Gold, Scrolls are good too to pick up, they don't weigh a lot, but usually are worth a decent amount of coin. This is actually okay, so I guess we'll take that, that staff we don't need. So we'll open our next set of doors, travel on through, we'll go ahead and activate this lever here, and we got a bunch of stuff going on in here. Alright, so when we first get into this room, there's actually this Dwarven mechanism here. Now, if you've already played through the main quest line and gotten through most of it, gotten down to where you need to get the Elder Scroll for the main quest line, um, in your inventory items in the miscellaneous, you should have um, stuff that you can't get rid of would be... where is it... should have the rune lexicon and your attunement sphere. Now, as long as you have those, you can activate this dwarven mechanism with your attunement sphere. And what will happen is it will open up this stairway. And if you open up this stairway, it will lead you to a door that you can open up. And down in here, doesn't really have too much. Uh, there's a gate here that you can unlock. There's a couple chests 
in there. Or you can go ahead and open this door and go back into Black Reach again somewhere else if you've already been through the main quest line. You know what Black Reach is, um, but that's just a little easier way to get there. Um, so that's what that is. Okay, uh, that is where we came from, across the way, chests, you know, just do your searching thing, explore around. Um, but anyway, over here to the right, again, some more chests, and another Ethereum shard. So we'll go ahead and say, pick that that's up. That's over. That's what, your third? All right, only one left to go. I'll meet you there. Okay, so now we have three pieces of the puzzle. There's only one piece left. And we'll go ahead, go back across the way, and we'll take the elevator back up. Back out to Skyrim, we'll activate the lever, get outside. So, now that we're all the way up here, get a nice little view up here. We got a little dragon flying around down there. But, anyway, we're just going to fast travel. We'll get to our last section for our Ethereum Shard. Oh, I don't know why it's not marked on my map. Uh, anyway, the last part you want to go to, um, if you're at Windhelm, you look at Windhelm, uh, right along... The cliffside is Mazulft, and that will be the last place for the last piece of this puzzle. So we'll go ahead and fast travel there, and while I'm on my way, I will end this video and start up the next one. So, again, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you in the next vid.